Now, I can tell you what Gretchen Whitmer is obsessed with. With all the noise, all the nonsense going on out there, she's, she's focused on the fundamentals. Now, Gretchen's opponent, her plan would slash billions of dollars from education budget. So her plan would slash billions from the education budget, change Michigan's constitution to allow taxpayer dollars to go to private schools. That's what you want from a public servant. You don't want a lot of wild, crazy talk. Former President Barack Obama hitting the campaign trail from Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer as her lead over Republican opponent Tudor Dixon shrinks and Democratic anxiety grows. The latest Real Clear Politics polling average gives the embattled incumbent only a three-point advantage, pretty close to the margin of error. Here now to react is Michigan's Republican gubernatorial candidate, Tudor Dixon. Tudor, so great to have you here on Fox and Friends. It sounded to me like Obama did a commercial for you. He called the concerns of Michigan people nonsense, um, crime, inflation, and then he also brought up school choice, which I would imagine after what Gretchen um, uh, Whitmer did during COVID, that that might actually be a very popular idea now in Michigan. Yeah, this is a new... This is a new theme of the Democrats to mock parents in the state of Michigan, parents who are desperately concerned about learning loss and what's happening in the classroom right now. While he stands in a city that has lost three decades of reading progress because of the policies of Gretchen Whitmer, he mocks the idea of making sure parents can have a decision-making power in whether or not their child gets educated. And let me remind you that in 2019, Gretchen Whitmer was actually sued by students students in Detroit because they said she violated their civil rights, not allowing them to achieve literacy. And they stand there and mock education after having the boss of the National Teachers Union there introducing them. And the lieutenant governor said, we know when we talk about education, that the, the first thing we need to do is take care of the adults. This is what <laughs> the Democrats are peddling now. And, and Tudor, they're also peddling your opponent uh, in the debate, I believe. Gretchen Whitmer uh, claimed that there was only a lockdown for three months. Her kids were only out of school for three months. So you're fighting a total rewriting of history on her record as well. Absolutely true, yes. And that has been shocking as I've gone around the state because we had schools that were closed in January of 2022 of this year. In fact, Detroit was one of those. So they stand in Detroit and say they're taking care of students when they still had schools closed this year, which is outrageous. And that's coming directly from this partnership with the teachers union that has poured a million dollars into their campaign. She lied multiple times on the debate stage. She got frazzled. She didn't know how to come back from it. Parents are saying, we're sick of this. We want to have a say. In fact, she even mocked parents on the debate stage who are concerned about these radical books and the sex and gender theory in our schools. That has parents really fired up in the state of Michigan. They want to make sure that kids are getting back to the basics. He says that they want to get back to the basics. We want children to actually read, write, and do math. That's been the focus of my campaign, and that's what we will bring back to the state of Michigan. Tudor, is this the number one issue for Michiganders? It was for Glenn Youngkin in Virginia two years ago. Right now in Texas, in their gubernatorial race, you'd probably say immigration is the number one issue. In New York, in their gubernatorial race, you would say crime. What is the number one issue for Michiganders? It is education and the high cost that we're seeing right now. And Gretchen Whitmer, I called her out on that, too, because she had an opportunity to give people of Michigan a child tax credit to reduce the personal income tax twice she had that opportunity and to reduce the retirement tax and all three times she vetoed those on the debate stage she had the nerve to say I vetoed them because you wouldn't get them until spring of 23 imagine that you would get them a few months from now when we're in a full-fledged recession but she decided you don't deserve the money back in your pockets hmm. yeah well there was no governor that took more glee um, and tyrannical COVID policies than Gretchen Wilson. I, I don't think Michiganders are going to forget about that. You're going to be uh, on the campaign trail. I guess you're going to be joined by who? Tulsi Gabbard? Yeah, we have... We have Tulsi Gabbard out here today, and she's talking about exactly these things. The reasons that she left the Democrat Party really has to do a lot with family. That's our focus here in Michigan, forging a family-friendly Michigan. She's talked about that, not wanting to take the family voice away. That's why she's here. We're so grateful to have her. Ronna McDaniel will be with us today as well. We're excited to be out on the trail, and for the next nine days, we will not slow down. We are going to take our state back.
All right. All right. Tudor well, Dixon, thank you for jumping on the show this morning, nine days before the midterm. All right. Thank you. Thank you I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.